Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to download any audio driver on Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to use Device Manager. To do this, right click on the Windows button and select Device Manager from the list of options. Now in the Device Manager window make sure to expand the Audio Inputs and Outputs section, then right click on the driver that you want to update and then make sure to click on the update driver option. Now in here click on search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best possible drivers for your PC. Otherwise you can continue by clicking on search for updated drivers on Windows Update and then in here make sure to click on advanced options and lastly click on optional updates under additional options. So in here if you have any optional updates related to your audio driver make sure to download them and install them as soon as possible. Afterwards, restart your PC and check if the changes were made. Another useful solution is to use your device manufacturer's website. For this, you need a web browser and to make sure to access the manufacturer website that corresponds to your device. Let's say in my case, it's Lenovo. So for example, if you have a Lenovo PC, just go to the PC support Lenovo website. In here, as you can see, you have two options to detect the product or to browse the product. So maybe click on the browse product for better search. Now click on laptops or desktops or whatever suits your PC and then make sure to select the series and the sub-series that correspond to your device. Afterwards, just wait until you're redirected to the main page of your device. And as you can see here on the left pane, you can select the drivers and software category. Now in here, you can click on the manual update option if you want to manually update your driver. And as you can see, you have the audio component in here, so click on it. Lastly, just click on the arrow underneath C files to open a drop down menu and then click on the download button to download the driver. Finally, decide on a location to save this file, preferably on your desktop and then click on the save button. Lastly, what you have to do is double click on the setup file to install the driver. Then restart your PC for the changes to take place. And lastly, another great solution is to use a third party software like Driver Fix. Driver Fix is portable and super easy to use, you don't need to install it. Just open the application and it will automatically scan your PC for missing drivers or if it needs to update something. It will already connect to the internet and make sure that it will help you to download the best drivers for your PC. Now the nice thing about it is that it's free if you want to update manually any driver. But if you want to update all the drivers all at once, you have to pay for a pro version. So in the end, it's up to you if you want to manually update your drivers one by one or update all of them in the same time. But make sure to check out Driver Fix as I also posted the app link in the description below. And that's it. Plenty of methods to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.